eight years ago, there was a discussion on a message board. It was active for two days, and then it was locked. Since then, it's been viewed more than three million times. So listen, I never posted on this forum. I don't know any of these people, but it's a story I have to talk about. It is the dumbest internet fight I have ever seen. This is a thread from a bodybuilding.com message board. It was recently unearthed by Reddit, and it dates back to May of 2008. It starts on a Friday afternoon when a guy asks whether it's safe to do a full body workout every other day. Fair question, right? Someone answers, yeah, it's pretty much fine, and he answers back, are you sure four to five times a week isn't overtraining? Four to five times a week. Let's just draw that out real quick, all right? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, cat, dog, hunt. Okay, there we go. Yep, five times. A couple other nice folks show up and chip in. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Every other day is fine. And then Stevie KM3 shows up. Wait, he says, that doesn't make sense. If you go every other day, you couldn't possibly go five times in a week. That's three and a half times a week. Hold on, let me uh, draw this up. Seven divided by two. Yep, three and a half times. He's right. The Josh answers back, uh, no, it's not 3.5, it's 4, look. And oh my heavens, look at that, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, he's right too. Justin27 shows up and comes back at him, uh, no, 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. The Josh reiterates, uh, no, 4 times a week, genius. What we have here are grown adults who can't agree on how many days there are in a week. This isn't done. This is not even close to done. So you can see where the Josh messed up here. He counted Sunday twice. He made a dumb mistake, but who among us, right? I mean, we've all been there. The thread goes quiet for about an hour, almost as though everyone is kind of digesting what the Josh just said. Finally, Stevie steps in again. You double counted Sunday. Grow up and admit when you are wrong. And with no hesitation, the Josh offers a two-point retort. Delete it for double post sorry, and... Are you... We, uh, we're gonna run into the R word a few times here, and while I have the opportunity, I just wanted to say that I don't like that word. I'm not gonna use it. The word hurts people, and if you think otherwise, you should ask around. Anyway, Josh doubles down on his argument by drawing up a calendar, which he misspells two different ways, by the way. I wish I could show you that calendar, but this is an eight-year-old post, and unfortunately, it looks like it's just been lost to the sands of time. This, given my understanding of the Josh's argument, is my best approximation of what it might have looked like. So, yes, he does come up with four days of exercise a week here. That's what you get when you add an extra day. Another hour of silence, as though the others are like, did he really say that? And then the floodgates open, and we are off. Justin27 goes at the Josh with both barrels. He's actually double posting at him. Justin posts twice. Josh posts twice to answer both of those posts. Left, right, left, right. It's like a boxing match. Shit is on, Josh. My calendar is 14 days. Maybe you should try counting on your fingers. Justin, okay, I will. It's 15. Let's count with him. Yep, he's right, it's 15. Justin continues to nail at the root of the problem. Sunday through Saturday is a week. There are seven days in a week, so Sunday through Saturday is seven days. Josh, did you never take basic elementary math? And he counts too. He gets the same number of days, but he's counting starting on Monday. He says you don't count the day that you start the workout program. Justin, rightly, responds. What do you mean you don't start counting on Sunday? It's a fucking day. I already answered that. No, you didn't. You said that you didn't feel like it should be counted as a day. Hey, I didn't say that. I will have feelings. Shut up. Okay, now y'all get ready, because Josh is about to drop some knowledge on you. 
It's like math, he says. Oh, this is going to be good. If you add four and you add three, that gives you seven. Hold up, hold up. Let me draw this out. Mm-hmm. All right, so this is the foundation of the Josh's argument, that you don't count what day it is when you're counting days. Again, you don't count what day it is when you're counting days. I didn't exaggerate that. He said it verbatim. You don't count what day it is when counting days. Uh, f- fuck it, fine, let's follow this rule. Zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus... Well, hey, look what the cat dragged in. It's SB Nation's own Ryan Nanny interrupting me in the middle of everything. I got so many weird looks in the office when I was working on this thing, I couldn't explain it to people. I mean, honestly, like, if somebody tapped you on the shoulder right now and asked you what you were watching, could you explain it? Anyway, following the Josh's policy of you don't count what day it is when counting days, we conclude that there are zero days in a week. That's actually not accurate. And unbelievably, Josh is about to be a whole different kind of wrong. If you work out every other day for 31 days, that is 16 days a month, 4 days a week. 31 days is not the same as 4 weeks. Josh, no, admit you're wrong. Justin, you are the dumbest boy alive. Josh, learn how to count. I'm done with this. I'm leaving work now. Justin, yeah, stop by a second grade class on the way home and learn something. Josh, listen, I'm done. I'm leaving work. I'll pick this up when I get home. Yeah, yeah. He's been at work this whole time. He has been paid by someone to get in a calendar fight on the internet for hours. So for now, Josh bails. Justin begins his victory tour. And disbelieving bystanders try to comprehend just what it is they've just seen. As the sun sets Friday evening, Justin, the undisputed winner of the great days in a week debate, is just getting started. He's building a coalition of little toadies who want to help him gang up on Josh. Josh isn't here. He hasn't posted since this afternoon, but Justin is still running up the score on him, posting big long novels about mocking him and finding new ways to argue and spending all this time doing it. Later Friday night, Justin finally goes to bed. Now what happens when a king abandons his thread kingdom? The answer is a dark age. Other posters, who weren't even involved in the original debate, come out of the woodwork with their own theories of what a week is and what every other day means. Here's this guy who introduces the concept of the real week. I have no idea what that means, but he's outlined his method for fitting four every other day workouts into a week. Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, he says. This goes on, he says. This is the church of the real week, and these are his stone tablets. A sensible newcomer comes around and points out, well, yeah, that is four workouts in a week, yeah, but that means you're working out back-to-back days on Saturday and Sunday. That breaks the every other day rule that Josh drew up, and depending on what the workout is, that could be unhealthy. The response? Do harm to my body? You have a lot to learn about working out, buddy. Here, here's something that makes sense. Uh, This guy says, Why are you so concerned with fitting some arbitrary calendar? Just treat each day like a day and work out every other day. That makes sense. Regardless, for apparently no reason, we're having the how can you have half a workout argument all over again. And this time, there is a schism. There is a split into different churches. Take Bango here. Like Josh before him, he believes that fractions should not be discussed in workout plans. There are only whole numbers. Bango is an integer purist. Contrast this with a newcomer, Orlando. He is of the new school. He types things like, when pragmatically looking at the equivalents. He believes in the numbers between the numbers. He is a fractional progressive. But this is not only a two-party debate. Scrawny here says, it will be both four times and three times per week. According to his philosophy, there are both three workouts and four workouts in the same week. There are two simultaneous contradictions. A practical impossibility. This is a quantum exercise. This, friends, is Schrodinger's workout. Orlando replies, right, so some weeks will have four workouts and some will have three. So that's an average frequency of three and a half. 
Scrawny's reply. You're an idiot! And then a desperate plea. This topic seriously needs to be closed. Oh, hell no. Hell no, we aren't closing this thread yet. I'm having too much fun. Plus, we haven't gotten to the best comment of the entire thread. All right, so out of nowhere, this total stranger just stumbles in as though the last 70 comments never happened and says, Hey, y'all, I worked out every other day the last two weeks and worked out 10 times. Hope this helps. Oh God, oh God. This is like a bug zapper for like people who don't understand weeks. Like why would you think that you could work out 10 times in two weeks if you're working out every other day? The math, you just like look at it on a calendar and you know you can't do it. How are so many people this goddamn stupid? Hey y'all, hi. Sorry about that. I just had to take a minute to figure out exactly why I was getting angry over an eight year old discussion thread that I wasn't even a part of. It's not that they were being stupid. God knows I've been stupid more times than I can count in my life, and it's not even that they were being stubbornly stupid. I think it's the coexistence of stupid and mean. This right here, this is normal behavior now. These are things that countless grown adults say to each other all day, day in, day out. Some people will tell you that the internet created or somehow inspired these people. I don't think that's it. I think we've been stupid assholes since the dawn of time. The internet is just an amplification of what we already were. Now that doesn't mean it's not crazy to look at. Who raised these people? Who raised Justin? At 8 o'clock the next morning, he's right back at it. He seems so intoxicated by his victory over Josh, who, by the way, continues to find better things to do with his time than post in this thread. Justin's moved on to taking shots at other people in this thread, people who weren't even trying to argue with him. A half day would be when you lift. A full day would be when I lift. This shit is really going to Justin's head. I know I'm college educated, a fantastic writer, generally far smarter than those around me. Brief editorial. Whether you went to college has pretty much nothing to do with how smart you are. Anyway, the personal attacks continue. Someone says, well, I went to college too. I'm successful. I'm posting under a fake name because I have a lot to lose. That is his mistake. That tees him up for Justin's most devastating blow. You do have a lot to lose. Body fat. Oh, shit. Man, Justin's head is in outer space right now. I mean, we all know how tough wins are to come by in life, but assholes who don't win a lot in life are pretty easy to spot. They're the ones who soak it up like it's an oasis. Justin typed about 250 words in this post alone. He posted 34 times in this thread for a total of nearly 2,000 words. Justin, the very smart man who knows how many days are in a week, has become the tragic figure in this play. He basically got tricked into writing a 2,000 word book report about a calendar, and he's confused it for the greatest moment of his life. And still, there's no sign of Josh. The man who brought this thread into the world has not emerged, but ages ago, he promised his return. Saturday presses forward. Saturday, May 18th, 2008, 5.54 p.m., The Josh. I was surprised you kept that going for so long yesterday, Justin. It was fun. My point was is that you cannot work out 3.5 times in a week. Justin, no, that was not your point, Toolshed. Do us all a favor and stop eating Twinkies, drop some of that body fat, and shut the fuck up. Okay, so watch how the Josh plays this one. You took me way too serious. I couldn't resist fucking with you. Sorry, no hard feelings.
So on one hand, I was only trolling is kind of the ultimate internet punk ass move. If they were actually trolling, they would just keep on trolling because that is what trolls do. Basically, they only pull this card out when they're being thoroughly humiliated. They want you to think, oh, I'm an evil genius. This was part of my grand social experiment. Now you're just not that smart. On the other hand, this was amazing. Like, I was rooting so hard against Justin. He was just this petty asshole. All he wanted was to just, like, make Josh grovel. He couldn't make it happen. He couldn't have the very smallest victory. All the gloating in the world, all the tap dancing, all the yelling and screaming and cussing and vulgarities couldn't get him a fucking inch. Wait, is this still going? Is this still going? Oh my god! Oh my god, how can I... You know what, I'm not angry. I'm not angry, I'm not mad at all. I just made it to understand how long these people go on and continue to not agree on how many days are on. How can How... Who cares? Who fuck... Who even fucking cares?